reason a lot of people get into this kind of thing is time. They don't have enough time. They're always under the gun. They don't have time to spend with their family. They don't have the time to do the things they want to do. And they feel it kind of creeping up on them. And it's like, man, if I could just get a little bit more time to be who I want to be, do what I want to do. But instead, they spend, you know, five, six days a week, eight, nine, 10, 11 hours a day, you know, grinding it out at a job they really don't like at all, you know? So that's, that's what gets a lot of people into it, I think. And, you know, that's, that definitely had something to do with it, with me, how, how I ended up getting into selling on Amazon and um, doing that. I mean, I remember working five, six days a week, man, wanting to take my kids camping, never having time to do it, never. And now I have the time to do that if I want to do it, which is awesome. The freedom, I mean, it's indescribable. I started Adventures on the River uh, because of constantly pushing, constantly pushing outward. I mean, I was doing pretty good selling on Amazon, you know, um, and then I decided, hey, I'm going to write a book about selling on Amazon, so I did that, but, and then that turned into a website, and then that went on, and, and the rest of the story, but the whole thing was, it was always pushing. I mean, even whatever I was doing, whether if it was successful, fine, I did more, but at the same time, I tried to figure out, you know, what I didn't like about what I was doing. What could I do differently? And I'd explore other options and stuff. So, you know, Adventures on the River came about because um, I was pushing and pushing and exploring other options, and I was using Amazon for other things like eBooks, and I was using it for like affiliate marketing and stuff. And then I pushed even more. I kind of wanted to figure out a way to teach other people to do that stuff too, because you know it was allowing me a lot of freedom, and I really wanted to give that back to other people. So um, that was the main thing, you know. So <laughs> this is the best way I can explain. It. Imagine it. Imagine it like this. So imagine just for a second that you know, you're at work, you know? You're kind of grumpy, man, because you know, you're know working at a job you don't really like that much, and you're working like five or six days a week. You know, you gotta come back tomorrow, and you just kind of, you're kind of in a mood, you know? And then out of the corner of your eye, you see this rock. Uh, and there's like something underneath this rock. And you're like, man, what is that? Over there in the corner like it, it just is totally out of place you know just completely so you walk over there and there's this folder underneath the rock and the folder has your name written on it and you're like what in the hell this is unreal so yeah you know like you take the rock away and you, you, you pick up the folder and you open it up and inside you see these detailed instructions on how you could basically quit your job. From A to B to C to D to E to F. All the way through, step by step, mapping everything out. You're like, what in the world? Holy cow. It's like it was custom made for you. Like someone left these instructions just for you on how to get to a better life. You know, at first you might have been scared, but the folder did have your name on it, so you took it home. You took it home and you thought about it, you know, and you know, you, you didn't tell your wife about it, you know, you went to bed, you know, and, but you couldn't get it off your mind, you know, you woke up in the middle of the night, you went out to the kitchen, you got yourself a snack, you pulled open the folder and you looked at it some more. And you see how everything could work in that folder. All the instructions were custom to you and you saw exactly how they fit into your life and how you could make yourself 
have a better situation. You saw it all right there in this floor. And eventually, you couldn't get it off your mind, so eventually it kind of just became about, am I gonna do this? Or am I just gonna stay where I'm at? You know? And that, that, I mean, that is, and, and you know, I know, like, you're probably thinking, like, oh, yeah, great. Here we go, Cam, you're talking about a folder. There's no folder, there's no rock, what are you talking about? Right? But, and I get it, you know, that, that sounds kind of crazy and stupid, but, uh, I mean, the fact of the matter is, you guys need to understand, man, I built adventuresontheriver.com to be that folder. To be that folder that you found somewhere in the corner, it didn't belong there, and you were meant to pick it up, and you were meant to change your life with that, those instructions. And that's what I built this website to do. So, a lot of people don't realize that, you know? make money on Amazon and the truth is there's a lot of ways that you can make money on Amazon a lot of ways uh, but you know without you even getting into adventures on the river dot com uh, without you even getting into that you know let me just give you three ways right here right now without you pulling any money out of your pocket at all because you know that might be what you need man you might need something to just hold on to without having to spend anything. Now, um, you know, I never paid for any information online that actually didn't help me. I can say that with, with a lot of confidence. Everything that I bought online furthered my education and actually helped me. Um, and I don't think anything I bought online uh, ever equaled the amount I spent on my business degree <laughs> going to college. <laughs> but I have learned quite a bit more from, from things that I've purchased online, <laughs> believe it or not, about this uh, area of business. But uh, all that aside, um, let's talk about for a second three things when it comes to Amazon that can help you like right now without any more education, just the education that you're going to get from me right here right now uh, the first thing is you know a lot of people make money on Amazon with physical product right and you know that I'm not telling you anything you don't already know they sell things books CDs records audio books kitchen appliances you name it people sell it on Amazon and they make money at it um, now the key to physical product the key to selling physical product and making a living at it is consistent sales right you need consistent sales to pay your bills and to make it replace your job that's what you need to be uh, to be successful when it comes to selling physical product on Amazon uh, the way you achieve that is a simple formula volume plus low best seller ranking equals consistent sales okay so that is the amount of product you have up, the more of that product that you have up, plus a low best seller ranking equals consistency in sales. Okay? Um, now you might think, oh, that's pretty, pretty vague, low best seller ranking. What are you talking about? Well, I'll tell you what I'm talking about. Uh, by low best seller ranking, I mean the top 5.75% in category like and I mean major categories like books kitchen appliances right CDs things like that I'm major categories the top 5.75 percent in major categories right that is your cream of the crop okay these are the things you're looking for when you're looking for product to sell on Amazon you're looking for that top 5.75 percent right in category now you fill your inventory with items like that and you concentrate on that 
and you increase your inventory volume, right? that will make you successful as far as consistency is concerned consistent sales all right and you will have them if you focus on that method all right so great now that method changed my life right there being able to figure that out changed my life so I'm giving it to you right now for free you don't need anything else but that one magic rule and you can go out there and make full-time money if you work hard Okay, and that's all there is to it. Now, obviously, inside AdventuresOnTheRiver.com, there's a lot of other stuff that we go into uh, that's going to really, really help you. Um, but just that one thing will get you off the ground, and uh, you will be on your way. Okay, let's take that and put it aside for a second. Let's talk about Amazon digital product. Let's talk about ebooks for a second. Now, Ebooks is a pretty cool way to make money on Amazon because of the simple fact that uh, you don't have to go out and find more products. Once you put them up there, you can sell them over and over and over again. That's pretty cool. All right. Now, one thing you might not realize about Amazon, what's kind of cool, is you don't have to make a giant book to sell it for like $2.99 or something. You can make like a 20 or 30 page book and sell it for like $2.99. Now you can crank a lot of these books out if you want to, if you have a mind to, if you can f find a way to do it and it's 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 time effective. Cuz you don't want to you don't want to spend like 3 or 4 months, you know, building like a 100 or 200 page book or even a 20 or 30 page book. You don't have to write all that content and and build those things. It takes too long, right? You know? Um consider this. Um this is just one of many tactics uh, to making ebooks very quickly on Amazon. But consider this. Think about the idea of an exercise. A push up, uh, a chin up, a sit up. Those ideas, those ideas of those exercises, they're not copyrightable. It's just basic instruction for an exercise. Now, someone could put together an ebook very very quickly a 20 to 30 page ebook uh, and call it you know 20 amazing exercises to get rid of flabby arms right 20 amazing exercises to get rid of flabby arms right or they could even you know make up an exercise that might help get rid of flabby arms and give it a crazy name right you know the amazing flabby arm chaser and 29 more exercises to get rid of flabby arms and boom, boom 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 very very quickly that book comes together probably in about an hour or two that book comes together very quickly and you can take that book put it up on Amazon and boom you're done and it'd be like a book a day you know probably two or three books a day you can get up there you can target micro niches and you can make money now you put like you put like five or six hundred books up like that on Amazon and you have to do absolutely nothing you will make passive income from those five or six hundred books indefinitely indefinitely and all you had to do was put the time in in the front and make it happen target those micro niches with that non copyrightable content like the exercises another one's recipes another one is sports statistics there's a lot of things out there that you can use, a lot of content out there that you can use that's not copyrightable that you are free and welcome to use um, to create your ebooks. Uh, the idea is that you're going to provide good value, you're going to give people information that, that they're interested in, and you're going to do it in a, in a very, very small, condensed, quick manner. You know, so it's pretty cool. That's a really good method uh, to use for ebooks. Um, now, if you're a little bit more creative, but you still don't want to spend tons of time on an ebook, another great, great method is the children's book. You can whip out like a 20 to 30 page children's book. It would be completely original content. It's not going to take you very much time to do. You could probably do one of those a day. Uh, pretty cool, easy way to whip out content to put up on Amazon and to make money off of ebooks. Pretty awesome. You can do that right now without even getting into my site. Do we teach a lot more in my site? Absolutely we do. But you don't need it. You can do it right now. Or, what if you wanted to see what was in my site? 
It's a monthly site. It, it has a monthly membership fee of fourteen ninety seven. Do you have to stay inside there indefinitely? Absolutely not. Stay in my site as long as you need to, and then cancel it and get out of there and do your thing. Get the education that you need and then move out, right? Keep in mind, the whole time that you're paying a fourteen ninety seven fee to my site. Keep track of those expenses because they are tax deductible. That is a business expense. It's training for you and your business. So keep track of it. That's a tax deductible. It's a tax write off. What else? Let's move that ebook thing aside, right? Let's think about this. The third way that I want to talk to you about that you can use right now to make money off of Amazon leverage. Amazon is a huge, huge, huge e-commerce site. Everybody knows about Amazon, right? So there's a lot of people going there. And whenever you have a lot of people in one place, that creates this giant kind of hub and you can leverage some of that traffic back to your place of business. So the third way that you can really, really use Amazon to make money is to leverage traffic from Amazon back to your place of business. The way you would achieve that is to focus on an ebook. An ebook that would provide valuable content. It doesn't have to be like the great American novel. It doesn't have to be like the next best thing. It just has to be a good ebook book, 30 to 50 pages that provides valuable content. Something that there are people out there who want to know about. Your target audience. Your target audience, right? For your website. The website or your place of business, right? Those people that you're trying to focus on, that's your niche, and you want to make a nice little 30 to 50 page ebook that also targets that niche. And in that ebook, you're going to put a link back to your website, right? And all the people that get your book for a good price and for cheap, it's going to leverage them back to your website. Now, ideally, if you can put about six or ten of these books out on Amazon, you get a really good little system set up there that pushes people back to your website. Now, we talk about that and a lot more inside AdventuresOnTheRiver.com. We put out new content every month on AdventuresOnTheRiver.com. There's a lot of ways to make money off of Amazon, but those are three that you can use right now to start making money on your own to get out of that nine to five job that you probably hate that's probably sucking up all your time to where you can't spend it with your family and your loved ones you can't do the things you want to do you can't be the person you want to be because you're in a job that you hate and you don't have time to do anything and you're running around like a busy fool I understand what that's like I've been there I get it this site was built to help you get out of it this is the instructions. Anyways, I will catch up with you guys on the inside. Peace.